in an organic chemistry the organic molecules also refer to separate react with the attacking reagent to form the formation of product to to form the formation of product attacking reagent may be electrophile or nucleophile what is electrophile electrophile electrophiles are those electrophile are those which love electrons which which are having lack of electrons that is means which means uh, this means that they love electrons electron lovers they are having a, a positive charge or a nuclear basically these are deficiency species these are these are what these are deficiency species it may be h plus because h why h plus because it has a lack of electron hydromium ion these all are these all are what these are all are electrophile it may be carbon cation nucleophiles are those nucleophiles both electrophile and nucleophile are called as attacking reagent when we talk about the nucleophile these are those who are nucleus loving why nucleus loving because they are having excess of electrons excess of electrons so therefore they are they are known as nucleus loving it may be chlorine chlorine is having excess of lone pair it may be uh, bromine it may be iodine it may be h2o why h2o it is having ex excess of lone pair so therefore it is called nucleophile in an organic chemistry the organic molecule organic molecules sometimes refer as substrate react with the attacking reagent that leads to formation of product leads to the formation of product in electromeric effect few terms we need to learn when we talk about the electromeric effect it is a it is a temporary effect points to remember is it is a temporary effect it is a temporary effect the organic compound must have double bond or a triple bond double bond or a triple bond single bond is not allowed in electrochemical effect in the presence of attacking reagent there is a complete transfer of pi bond the first one is always sigma bond the first one is always sigma bond second one is always pi bond if i am having triple bond the first one is sigma and it, it has two pi bond two pi bond so what is electromeric effect it is a complete transfer of shared pair of pi electrons from one atom on the demand of attack of attacking reagent it is represented by the complete arrow complete curved arrow it is of two types positive negative positive means in this positive effect the pi electrons of multiple bond transfer to that atom to which a taking reagent attached so again what are pi bonds pi bonds are nothing but a excess of electrons what are pi bond pi bond are nothing but a excess of electrons these excess of electrons electrons are having the negative charge these excess of electrons is get attracted by the positive electrophile how electrophile formed how nucleophile formed let's see if i am having a compound of hcl hydrogen is having the lower electronegativity chlorine is having the more electronegativity so chlorine is having more hold on electrons when shared by the both of the atoms if i am having hcl both will have a common nucleus because of higher electronegativity the common nucleus is get is get attracted towards the chlorine chlorine is having the higher electronegativity hence cause the 
partially positive charge because it give away the uh, few electrons to, towards the chlorine and the chlorine gets the excess of electrons so therefore it so it forms a partially negative charge when when a bond cleavage takes place how covalent bond is formed hydrogen plays one of its electrons chlorine also give place one of its electrons and hence the covalent bond forms when there is a cleavage takes place the chlorine will detach all two electrons from detach the electron of hydrogen towards itself and hence cause the formation of electrophile and the nucleophile hence we can say it is known as electrophile this is known as nucleophile it's not a necessary we always take an example of hcl we can also take an example of uh, we, we can also take the another example for example we are having the h2o we can also write it as h plus oh minus h2o so oh is acting as a uh, nucleophile h plus is acting as a uh, electrophile this electrophile is placed over here so we can say electrophile or nucleophile can be obtained from any one of the compound if i am having the h plus now h plus is, is acting as a attacking reagent uh, attacking reagent as i discussed over here now h plus is acting as a attacking reagent now attacking reagent is very much unstable this is electrophile this is nucleophile nucleophile or electrophile both are very unstable in nature they need to be stable how they can uh, how they can obtain uh, how they can achieve the stability by attach itself to the carbon how they can attach to the carbon by breakdown of pi bond when the pi bond is detached from the substrate or a reactant they forms a sigma bond and attach to it now this is electrophile similarly if the if this uh, attacking reagent attached to the same atom to which the pi bond is shifted then we then we will call it as positive if the pi bond is shifted in another direction and the attacking reagent is is attached to the uh, attached to the second carbon atom we call it as negative electromeric effect this is whole about the electromeric effect so uh, points to remember uh, it is a temporary effect uh, double bond triple bond must be there it is represented by the complete curved arrow it is of two types plus i minus i e. uh, this is whole about the electromeric effect